Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another new video of SAP Abraham. In this video, we will explore how we can uh, how we can elaborate how we can uh, use barcode in the smartphone. You know, in this uh, era, everybody and every uh, every business need uh, a barcode for for its uh, products and for its uh, documents. Uh, which which can be easily scanned by using the barcode machine and the system uh, and the systematic way of entering data via barcode is very popular uh, in nowadays. So if we uh, if we have to um, if we have to print a cell order number or any digital number in the form of barcode, we use smart forms. So Let's begin with a practical example. First of all, we have to go to the transaction SE73. SE73. In this transaction, go to the uh, select option system barcode and then click on the, change, the create new button. Click on the new button. Now we have to give and the barcode name that Z bar B K I give and name is barcode S K two press enter and then select first option code thirty nine and then select normal code alignment and after that narrow module width is zero six linear height and these are the parameters which are required for printing of barcode. Click on the OK button, green check, and then click on the save button. It's asking for the transport request. If you have transport request, press on the green button. If you don't have, go to the create request button and create a new transport request. As, as I have a uh, transport request already, so I will click on the green tick button. Table entry was included in task, which means that the um, barcode uh, entry has been done. So, in our next step, uh, in our next, in our next step, we have to go to the transaction smart forms because every smartphone uh, uses uh, some style some some, uh, some styling and use some style uh, for every uh, every data and uh, follow some particular style and here in the same position we can create any form of style and uh, collaborate with the smartphone later so in the second step we have to use some uh, some C style and uh, um, add our barcode to that uh, style name. Here I use ZUF underscore style, which I already uh, used in some of for some other smartphones. So click on the change button after selecting, and then go to the character format. Click any one, one. Click on the right. Right click on the. Uh, click on copy button, and then give the. Uh, give the character format name. Let's press OK. Here you can find that uh, the. Uh, superscript subscript option is here and below the barcode is present so when uh, go to the go to the list uh, this time which we have created uh, we have created z bar uh, bk click on this and if you want some particular style or some particular I select simple and font set six. Font set eight and font style is bold. After that, 
I go to the save button and then click on the activated. I uh, I find that star Z four style was activated. So our two step has been completed. In our lab, in our last and final step, we have to um, we have to integrate this style with our smartphone. So now go to the uh, transition smartphone again, and here use so select your smartphone and uh, whichever you want to print uh, print the uh, print your number print your data in the form of barcode. So select the smartphone and go to the change button. Here we have uh, one may one header window and the second main window. In the second window, there is a template and and um, in the template there is a coding uh, lies here in which we are uh, right now I am giving some hard coded value to our global variable gvsomo and uh, um, for your convenience and if you want to uh, build in if you want to collaborate with some other value so do write in the code uh, move the move that value to this global variable or you can use directly uh, to that variable uh, but the point is you just you must have to select the format of the uh, of the text uh, um, in uh, format of the text in the uh, barcode text which we have already um, created so here i double click on the serial order number and Go to the cheater and then uh, it's going to the editor and then we will have to uh, do the change editor. Change editor. So let's I again write and show you. We have to. Uh, uh, we have to use first vector fk what already used but most important must uh, I must mention here before giving this you just uh, first give the uh, style to that particular text because uh, if you and uh, in this option go to the output option of that give the style name that you have underscore style where we have uh, add, we have created our barcode character format so after giving this go to the editor go to the editor and then um, set the uh, character format of that uh, text First, we will see the result uh, without implementing the text, and then we will uh, uh, we will uh, we will find after uh, after giving the format. So here, I just give the variable number, variable name. Sorry, gvso underscore number, and then ten percent. Just back, click on the back button. Editor sometimes works uh, slow. Click on the activate button. So, point of entry that we didn't apply the for character format uh, which we have created right now. Uh, we will execute it and find result without implementing the format again executed it and then select rp01 and then update we have find that the our hard coded value is printing 7654 uh, without any format of barcode because we didn't apply 
the barcode format so let's go to the uh, smartphone text field again i select the edit into and then click on the, the double click on the see auto number text field and then we can go to the editor Was so for some part. Now go to the change editor and then type uh, less than sign and greater than sign, and between them, I write the uh, name of the format which we have created. Okay, and at the end also. FK. Yes, we have created. Yes, we have created FK, FK character format in our style. And now we have applied the FK character format, and we have to activate it again because we have changed the uh, format of our, of our text. And after activating, we will uh, we will execute it and check whether the impact of uh, whether it, it translate it changed our uh, serial number to the particular barcode or not execute and then press F8 then again press F8 select LP01 and then press F8 again there it is so our number uh, 7634 has been converted has been converted into the barcode so um, hope you guys learn a lot and enjoy this video let's meet into some other interesting video of SAP web if you like my video do sub subscribe and like uh, my channel so then I will give you more interesting video uh, bye bye take care